The first day of the Third Battle of Ypres did see some Allied gains, but the critical area of the Guelleveldt plateau remained in German hands. That doesn't look like much, but this is a raised area of ground, the dominant position, and it had to be taken if the British plan was to succeed. The poor weather meant action was suspended until the 10th of August 1917. The infantry spent weeks in wet, muddy trenches, and men had to be relieved regularly by fresh troops because conditions were so exhausting. The mud also hampered the artillery. Guns struggled to find stable ground, and with aerial reconnaissance near impossible, they had trouble accurately targeting the enemy artillery, wasting shells in the process. On the 10th of August, the British launched an offensive up here on the Guelleveldt Plateau. But by the afternoon, they'd been driven back from their gains by heavy German artillery fire and determined counterattacks. They'd only managed to cling on to the one village of Vestuk to show for all their losses. On the 16th of August, they attacked again. It was known as the Battle of Langemark. This time too, the battle followed a grimly familiar pattern. Progress in the north resulted in the Allied capture of the village of Langemark. But the Guelleveldt Plateau further south still eluded them. British morale sunk. But they weren't the only ones suffering in Flanders. The German counterattacks weren't without cost. The British artillery was taking a terrible toll, and German reserves were dwindling. <laughs> 